What is up, Kratix? Welcome back to the Crew Motor Fest. So in this one, we're going to be customizing the 2021 Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Now, this car was not available in the Crew 2, but it is available in the Crew Motor Fest. And a lot of you guys were asking me to customize it because of that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this car costs 450000 uh, pretty expensive, but I mean, it's not crazy compared to the other prices of cars and games, which are quite wild. Um, but I guess it's still kind of up there. Anyways, go ahead and go here to it. I already bought it. Um, let's start off with the visual uh, colors here, or visual customization, and then the uh, manufacturer colors. So we have the factory white, like a gray, black, candy red, darker red, dark blue, nice light blue, and then this dark green. I kind of want to go with something custom. I want kind of like, like a gray like this, but more like bluish. So I guess like let's fine tune it. Let's go here to like the bluish area, somewhere around there, and then saturation. Ah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's perfect, I think. I mean, maybe a little bit more. There we go. I think that's good. All right, got that there. Looks fantastic. Love that color. Visual parts. So you can do a carbon stock hood. I think that kind of breaks up the lines too much, in my opinion, at least. I'm going to skip that. Bumper options. Okay, so we got a nice splitter. Okay. Also changes the whole front bumper section. And what is this? It's like stock, but. Oh, different headlights. Oh, I see. Okay. And that's this one. What is the difference between this one and this one? I don't know. Uh, this one. So what's the difference between number two and number four? They have the same headlights. I, I, <laughs> I can't tell. Maybe that's a mistake. Was that one supposed to have the newer headlight option? I have no idea. Um, okay. A lot of these options look very very similar oh I think it's the side markers that's tinted or something yeah that's what it looks like okay that makes more sense wow okay that's weird I guess the side tinted markers is pretty nice I suppose this one's lighter it's so weird I mean I do kind of like this one hmm all right I guess we'll go with this one Rear bumper, oh, sorry, front fenders. So you got this one and this one. Like carbon or primary color. I do like the primary color a bit more. I feel like it just flows a lot better. It looks pretty sick too. We'll do that. Wheels. We got this one. This carbon one looks sick. Look at that. And custom ones. I like this. Let's do that. 9,000. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Gray caliper color. I want to try to match our blue as best we can here. Oh, it looks pretty good. Not bad. All right. Mirrors. I definitely want some carbon mirrors. Yeah. Full carbon. You got this and that. I think the primary looks a bit better since it kind of like blends with our. Um, I think it just flows with the wide body a bit more. But also, I feel like. It doesn't flow as well with our front splitter. Let's put the rear white body on first, and we got that one and that one. Yeah, the carbon just looks weird. Why does this carbon one is smooth on the back, but then this one has that vent? That's weird. There should have been three options back here. Primary color like this, and then the carbon one, and then this. I don't know why they did. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't like the carbon one, so I guess we'll do that. I mean, let's go back to our skirt here. Overview. Hmm. I think it does need that contrast actually, especially with the line. Yeah, yeah, it looks better. Okay, we'll do this one. Rear wing. Ducktail spoiler. Okay. Full length ducktail spoiler. Looks really nice. Larger spoiler and even larger spoiler. Is that a double? That's, <laughs> that's a crazy bracket. Okay. Um. All right, so yeah, number three, I like that. We'll do that. Rear bumpers. So this one kind of makes the Porsche lettering like a bluish color. 
I guess I unintentionally made that match. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got this one that kind of like blends it in a bit more. So if you want to hide the Porsche lettering, you can do that. And this one adds some color to our diffuser area. And this one actually adds like the side diffuser. I guess that kind of accents the white body a little bit. Looks pretty good. There's a primary version of that. Not bad. And this one. Different variants of that. And that one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad, the primary thing. Even though I think in carbon it looks a bit better, but it still has the contrast on the bottom. I think this is the move right here. I think I'm going to go with this. Let's do that. All right, interiors. If you want to change this up a little bit, you can. By the ooh, the white interior. I do like that. But not full white. I think that's just a bit excessive. I think we can tone it down. Yeah. I like that. You can also do that or that or just white stitching. I think I'm going to go with this. This right here. This is obviously overkill, but I think this is perfect. Let's do that. Materials, if you want to do suede, you can do that. I want to keep the leather and no interior inserts. And boom, see how it looks. Ooh, that's nice. All right, so let's see if anybody's created any like crazy liveries for this. So you got normal stripes, you got some whites there, stripes. Nothing really too crazy. Duracell Plus. <laughs> This person has a sense of humor. I like that. That's funny. Wait, somebody did a... What did they do here? Oh, it's just... That's just tense. Okay. The stripe going on in the middle is actually kind of cool. I like that. That's kind of sick. I don't like the way it goes back here, though. That's... That's strange. Alright, some pretty unique liveries here and there. I think I'll stick with a livery for now. All right, um, let's see how it drives, but before that, stock power, 760 electric horsepower stock, 5,000 pounds though, it's, it's, it's very heavy. <laughs> All wheel drive though. All right, let's uh, see how it does. Wow. All right, let's come to a stop here. And we're gonna, we're just gonna floor it. Not bad. Take the jump. Pretty quick. Not bad at all. Now let's try a handbrake launch. If that's even possible. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it is. Ah, helped a little bit. A oh, wheel spin though. Oh, traffic, traffic, traffic. See in first person. Sounds so crazy. If in this game, for some reason, like every electric car has this weird, like, futuristic electric sound. Like, pretty much all of them have the same sound. It's kind of weird. Whether it's a Porsche or the Hummer EV or that crazy EV Mercedes, it doesn't matter what it is. They all pretty much have a similar um, electric sound effect to it. Which I, mean, I don't know how I feel about that. It is kind of cool, but when you race other people in PvP, it's like obnoxiously loud. <laughs> For some reason, the EV sound is just as loud as, as the exhaust notes. <laughs> Alright, pretty cool. I think it definitely needs upgrades, though. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, let's max this out. Vehicles. Over here. Upgrade. And this is a street tier 2, which means it can take 750 parts instead of 600. Max it out. Alright, what do we got now? Whoa! Well, that's a big jump. Almost 1,200 horsepower. Wow. <laughs> Still really, really heavy, but, you know, 5,000 pounds is no joke. But hey, 12, almost 1,200 horsepower. That's impressive. Alright, should be really fast now. Let's see how it does. Alright, floor it. It's still, wow, it spun a while. It spun all the way to 60. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's more like it. Remember, these cars has only one gear. But that's impressive the way it's overcoming that gear. Wow. 
No nitrous or nothing. Jeez, almost 200 already? Come on, 200. Yeah, with no nitrous. All right, here we go, nitrous. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh-oh, 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 ah! That is, that. that's pretty cool, actually, like how fast that is. All right, let's try nitrous from a stop. Actually, no, let's try handbrake launch first, and then we'll try nitrous from a stop. Not bad. Traction control cut us there a little bit. All right, let's try that, and then nitrous. Whoa, that's pretty cool. The electric cars in this game are kind of fun, though, I have to admit. You don't have to worry about charging them, so that's good. <laughs> Try around having fun. You drift them, too. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, first person. I always found the name of this thing funny, a Turbo S, no turbo. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. The future is definitely interesting to say the least. Not my thing, but um, I, I do see the appeal, like if, 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 if it's like a game and you didn't have to charge it, like, it wouldn't be that bad, right? But uh, unfortunately, reality, <laughs> The same way you don't put fuel in the car, the gas-powered car you drive. But yeah, not bad. Pretty cool vehicle. Obviously, the fun part about these cars is is taking a corner and then just zooming out of the corner. You know, the acceleration is just nuts. So let's, let's say this is like a hairpin, you know, where you turn and then just zoom out of that corner. Very, very quick acceleration. It might seem slow when you're seeing it here on video, but trust me, it's just not as dramatic as seeing a car, you know, bah, bah, shifting through the gears, you know. <laughs> this is a bit more, like it's a lot less dramatic and it looks slower, but it's actually not. It's really fast. If you ever race a Taycan in a PvP race, like someone like, against someone else, in the hairpin area, you know, the mountains where it's back and forth, you turn, you turn, you turn constantly over and over and over again, one of these will pull away from you. This, these, these things are quick very very quick in those specific situations especially when you do the nitrous so brakes aren't the best though <laughs> but anyways guys hope you enjoyed definitely let me know what car you want to see me customize next thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one